Wow. That right there, that is a delicious piece of A5 grade Japanese Wagyu sizzling in a fry pan. Look at the marbling on that. We put it in there with some olive oil and a little bit of garlic underneath there. But that's not what this stream is all about. Well, it is about beef, but it's also about this. Do you see this in my hand right here? This is Matsuzaka. Do you see it on the box at the bottom? Matsuzaka Wagyu in a can. It is priced at $50. I got it on Amazon. And we're going to be comparing this versus a real Wagyu steak. How good is luxury survival food in Japan? I'm pretty excited about this. Joining us is Chef Kanai in the kitchen again. Hi. How you doing? Good. How are you? I've had better hair days. And we're going to be examining luxury food in a can. I don't know. I saw this on the internet. I was pretty excited about it. How does $50... I, first of all, paying $50 for this was not an easy thing for me to do. But curiosity got the better of me. And basically, I'm all we're all shut in just, just like you. So <laughs> we need something to look forward to. And for us, it was a can of Wagyu. Um, so what can I get this ready here? Wow. Yeah, that looks really good. We're going to set up over in the other room. That's not Matsuzaka Gyu. <laughs> Actually, this is this here is um, from Miyagi Prefecture up in um, near Sendai. Oh, Sendai. Yeah, really? not so not so far from Hitachi, which and Hitachi Gyu is one that we've had on the show before. That's really good. All right, I think I, yeah, flip it. Ah, wow. uh -huh. oh, oh <laughs> careful. Now this this piece of uh, wagyu. Now, uh, ma th this this Wagyu here is not actually a name brand Wagyu, so it's pretty cheap. It was about uh, 1,300 yen or about $12, $12, $13 for that steak. Uh, you can cut that in half and we'll, we'll share this Kanai. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Kanai likes olive oil and garlic. I cannot fault her for that. <laughs> we, we only have uh, olive oil at home. Yeah, we, we're very, we're sort of... Um, <laughs> Not we sort of don't have a lot of yeah, things. Yeah, we have coconut oil too. Coconut oil, but that's more for my hair recently. <laughs> well, can I cook that steak up? Let's open up this can. Let's take a look and see what's inside here. Um, this is made by a company called KK, which mm. has a ton of um, canned goods. I like the one with uh, atsukiri bacon and like a honey mustard sauce mm -hmm. in there. Basically, they've taken canned foods and made it cool again. There's the link if you want to take it out. Consuma.jp Oh man, I'm pretty excited about this. Uh, it has an expiration expiration date of two, two, um, 2022. March. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I guess... Do we need to cook it, Kanai? Mm, we don't need to cook. Yeah. Need to cook. yeah, you can just eat it like this. Yeah, just we can eat. Or yeah, we can heat a little bit. Maybe heat it up. I'll try it raw, raw dog here. I think it's done. Yeah. So this is pretty. This is pretty beautiful looking can. We're gonna put it. Yeah. Well, we can open this up in the other room to make a mess. So first, let's let's get the steak going. Oh, it smells so good. Oh. Jeff Ang, thank you. Hi, John and Kanai. Steak looks delicious. I think it's oh, you don't want to you don't want to overcook it or undercook it. Uh, that looks fine to me. What? Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Look at the oils. Now, Wagyu has a lot of natural oils, so you don't need to to overcook it, but don't undercook it either, because I like well done. You like well done, yeah. I like. That's that's good enough for me. Hmm. Yeah, that looks, good. looks good. What do you guys think out there? Show us the inside, can I? That looks good. Yeah, that's fine. It's cooked. Mm -hmm. Medium. Jalapeno.co. I really do not know the meaning sometimes of what I say. <laughs> but we're here We're here to have some meat. Mm, nice. Ooh. Looks medium well. That's good enough. You, don't, you know what? I, I never really eat Wagyu beef... Um, uh, rare. The reason why is because I like to add what I call 
just quote me on it, activate the fats and let the fats uh, melt through. And that's sort of the deliciousness of it. There's no reason to undercook Japanese beef because it's already going to be tender. Even if it's cooked medium well, it is still very, very tender. So there's yes. no reason for it. And wasabi got nai Wasabi. Do we have wasabi? Wasabi nai Ah, no. No, I forgot the wasabi. No, my hair is naturally like this. I did not eat wasabi. Yeah. Just a little bit of salt is fine too. We have some pink Himalayan salt and just uh, natural salt from Ogasa water, right? Mm. That's more than enough. Brenda MC is here. McSee, how you doing? Thank you. I'm not, who wrote that? Buy collard rights in here. Pour ketchup on it. Are you kidding? <laughs> Look, I, you know what? If it is a cheap steak, I don't think that there's any problem with putting ketchup on it. Whatever, all right? The, the cow might disagree. Wants to be, you know, sh um, eaten with a delicious Worcestershire sauce, perhaps. But y it's whatever you like with it. This is the one thing that I've, I've been told. If, if, if it's not prepared by a chef and it's not really, really expensive, do it the way you like. And this means for sushi, too. If you like dipping it in soy sauce mixed up with wasabi, do whatever you want. But when it comes to eating at a, sh at a restaurant where the chef is making it uh, like omakase, like, like putting it in front of you, then I think that you should listen to the chef because he's put a lot of love into that. But if it's just like an Ipan Teki general sushi or general steak, eh, ketchup. Ketchup. That's the joke where they smash the, smash the tomato that's not going fast enough. Come on, hurry up, ketchup. Or, hurry up, tomato. Ketchup. Yeah, and then it smashes the, it makes ketchup. All right, it's not funny. There's a couple of kids that are laughing. <laughs> How are we doing in the kitchen? Oh, that Hi. looks nice. Hi. Do we get some chopsticks? Yeah. I already put it. Oh, you did it. She's way, way in advance. We have avocados in Japan, too. Just saying. <laughs> we've, been, we've been cooking a lot. All right, for those that have been waiting for this, this moment has come now. Let's get this. They, they also have here, complete with garlic. You do need a little bit of garlic breaks up the uh, oils a little bit. They do have other cans. This one cost about eight, eight dollars, eight or nine dollars. And this is a Japanese, Japanese style um, sweet and spicy sauce with beef. Um, it says here, I don't know if it's Wagyu or not. Let's see here. This is from uh, Media, which is another company that makes really um, gourmet like cans, canned goods in there from, from Tokyo. Uh, this is just, um, Soy sauce and salt and kombu and meat. And they have a nice little sauce on there. So maybe we'll open this. I don't know. But I just wanted to show you they have different kinds of beef meat in a can. But I love the canned, canned foods that they have in Japan. It's so unique. Oh, where did it go? Oh, it's on the table. Lights. Camera. Action! <laughs> Boom. TDSDR, thank you. Welcome to lunch in Tokyo. All right. Now we're gonna start the we're gonna start the the competition here. I don't know if it's a competition. Real steak versus steak in a can. And Kanai's got all the fixings out, so it's gonna be a lot of fun. Wagyu beef bacon. That is, I, I never thought that that would be be a thing. That's that seems like. That sounds really good to me, though. That sounds really good to me. All right, it's time to open up this can. Um, it must be done, and I shall do it. So in the background will be the steak here. Let's move the, the plates over here. We're doing this live, everybody, because live is, is always fun. It's really fun. Yeah, let's put the can here. This is what, let's see if it looks like what, what you see here. Is it gonna look the same? I'm guessing maybe no. Maybe no. That smells so good. Mm. Yeah. All right, we got a light. Wow. Okay. A little bit too much zoom here. Is it, is it, is it the same? $50 can of Wagyu. Oh, wow. Wow. Mm. 
Oh, wow. Wow. That looks... <laughs> so yeah, be careful of the sauce. <laughs> what, how does this look to you? It's... Wow. That is Matsuzaka Wagyu. Matsuzaka is a premium brand that is considered better than Kobe beef. Matsuzaka is located in Mie Prefecture, uh, just north of Osaka, not that far from... Uh, I, I think it's about an hour from um, Nara and Kyoto, but it's... Um, uh, has the best beef. This is the one where they're, they're drinking the beer, if you've ever seen that one, and getting the massage. That's in Matsuzaka. And, oh, it doesn't look like, I mean, I don't know. It looks like cat food to me, writes in. It looks better than spam, writes in. Um, Jan, um, Mr. Grunwald. <laughs> We're getting different responses here. Looks like canned tuna, writes in Bach. Looks good, writes in Miss Petite. You may want to heat it up, writes in TDSDR. Possibly, but I'm gonna go with it the way it is because it should no, be like this. I can see marble here. Yeah, there's some marble. Yeah, you can. Can I look at that? You can <laughs> see some marbling. Look at it. Look at it. All right. Wow. Now stop looking at it. Let's eat it. African Chicago Africans here. This this is the start. <laughs> this is to start John taking cooking classes so he doesn't start helping. Can I? It's true. I, I got to start learning how to cook. All right, it's time to try this out here. We're going to put them put them together side by side. What do you guys think? Write it in the comments below. Which one is going to taste better? The Matsuzaka beef, which is, which is actually the um, brand beef here. This is a very famous brand. And then this is Miyagi uh, beef from Miyagi Prefecture up near Sendai. Sendai-gyu. Sendai-gyu, mm. yeah. Is it Sendai Gyu? I don't know. Miyagi Gyu? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know either. <laughs> All I know is that it, it better be it better be good. Because wow. Wow. That's I'm pretty excited about. Pretty excited about this. Wow. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Born ready? I'm ready. ready. Did you eat? That's right. Ready, Freddy. Okay. Oh. Are you as hungry as we are right now? It's like for 12 minutes you've been looking at meat. Now for the next yeah. next few minutes, eat with us. As we as we experience the delicious delicacies of Japan's Beef. I don't know where I was going with that. Okay. What should I eat first? All right, you know what? I think we <laughs> should go with normal Wagyu. Let's just go with a piece of normal Wagyu. Mm -hmm. um, which one do you want? Do you want, or do you want can? Can I, can I should I? Up to you. We can try this one because it's hot. Okay, yeah. all right, do it because it's hot. We have a bowl of rice. Now, typically I like to eat um, Wagyu with rice. It's kind of mixes pretty well. Uh, I like to see rice as a blank canvas, right? You can just paint with yeah. it any way that you like here. Um, Bradshaw Studios here. Thank you, Bradshaw Studios. 1976 was a good year. And John Wakamatsu is here for the food. Much appreciated. <laughs> that basically does pay for the Wagyu steak. So much love, guys. All right, which, which uh, piece do you want here? This one, I need to rice first. All right, take a look at this. This is the Wagyu steak. I'm just gonna show a piece of it so you get a a good idea. The natural uh, oils are coming out, but there's a little bit of olive oil in there, and that, that sort of adds to it. Not everybody uses olive oil because it's very aromatic. It's got its own taste to it. Um, so it's probably better to use a neutral tasting oil, but olive oil is just as fine. Itadakimasu. Mmm. <laughs> Mmm. Mmm. Is that the shiosh kata? Oh! Mmm. Mmm. Just a little bit. Yeah. Just a little bit. There you go. Mmm. Yeah, just a little bit of salt is good. It brings out the flavors a little bit. Alright, now it's time. For this, 
Hand Wagyu. I don't know. I was saving this really for like an earthquake or if mm. we had no choices, but I figured if I don't eat it now, I'll, I'll probably forget about it and never eat it. It gets, it, you know, like survival food. You don't want to eat it when it's get, like in 2022 when it's like, oh no, I got to eat that canned Wagyu. No, you should just eat it now and buy more if it's good. Mm. That's what we're here to find out. Dozo. Wow. Eh. <laughs> <laughs> take your, take your, take the be best part. Wow, it's big. It's big block. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, that's a big block of Matsuzaka Gyu. Wow, I can pick it. Yeah, take it out. Nice. Whoa, show the camera. Show the camera some love. Oh, yeah. Wow, look at that. It's beautiful. All that gelatin in there from canned foods. Can canned foods be as good as a restaurant? We're going to find out. Thank you, Jimmy. For some Costco, Jin Jimmy writes in for some more Costco <laughs> salt. <laughs> uh, we can always use more of that. All right, let's get this right. Wait, wait, wait for me, wait for me. I'm gonna take a little piece here, a little piece here. And for science, you can, you guys can take a pretty close look at, see, uh, let me get that rice off of there. It's a pretty interesting uh, comparison. Now I'm sure that they've cooked it before they put it into the can. Here we go. Oh, Matsuzaka Gyu. Yeah, Matsuzaka Gyu. The good stuff. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, wow. Do. It's not hot. But even cold, it tastes so good and soft. It's very tender mm. for canned meat. I would think it would be more chewy and harder. It is a little chewy, mm. but it's got like, this natural sweetness to it as well. Mm. After taking about four or five chews, another flavor came out, and I thought that was pretty unique. Um, it's the same with Wagyu. Now let's go back to this piece of Wagyu here, Kanai. Let's go back and... <laughs> okay. Yeah, we just get, keep going back and forth. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. You can put this. Salt. Oh yeah, some salt here. Dun, dun, dun. A piece of garlic on there. Let's keep going back and forth. Try it out here. Mmm. 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 Alright, the, the thing here... And thank you, Tim, Tim Bailey, uh, Tim, for signing up for the Patreon. I just saw the notification. <laughs> you see that? That was nice. Thank you, Tim. Um, I can I can tell the difference is obvious, of course. You know, not th not that just because it's in a can, but the reason is, mm. um, I don't taste the the fats aren't really coming out of the beef. When you take a bite of this mm. wagyu, um, this sendai gyu, the fats come out with every bite. It's like an explosion of taste and mm -hmm. it's a very sweet fat to wagyu this doesn't have that it just has a, a natural tenderness to it that you wouldn't expect in canned foods and is it worth fifty dollars probably not <laughs> but it makes a good gift it makes a good gift yes, if yes. you want to uh share some and you can definitely take this mm -hmm. back uh it bypasses because it's in a can all of the uh, uh don't bring beef into the country mm -hmm. laws because it is in a can so um, it's there's like that. You can hit a little bit and it tastes better. Really? Okay. All right, what? go ahead. Eh? Let's try to heat it up. Really? Why not? I'm in this to win this. <laughs> okay, you can talk. I'm not sure what I'm going to win, but... I'll just talk for a minute. I'll just come in... I'll come in the kitchen in a minute. As we set up. So, uh, bonus. If you guys like these food challenges... Give us a thumbs up because your love is what makes us keep going through this self-isolation. While Kanai's cooking, I'll just finish off all the Wagyu. Because that's what she would do. Um, basically, when we're in the self-isolation, we have been eating pretty good. We get fresh vegetables from the supermarket once a week and we have some uh, meat in the freezer. And we investigate the cookbook. And yes, I am cooking, all right, for the people that are out there going, what are you doing? Why don't you cook more? I'm cooking, but 
in these kind of situations. I'm actually just holding the camera, and that's that's quite important. Someone has to frame the shots. Um, if you get to 500 likes, we might eat another can of beef. But just click the like button because, you know, if you're looking to get the notifications, uh, clicking the like button is a way to tell YouTube that you also like the content so you get the notifications as well if you haven't been getting them. Um, and I also recommend that you unsubscribe and subscribe again. A lot of people have been doing that and having success with the notifications. So I uh, thought I'd just put that out there. Mmm. Let's go into the kitchen. And I just had some time now. How do you cook it? I just put it on the pot. Oh, wow. I think it's good. Yeah. Is there light there? Just... Yeah, that looks better. It's melted the stuff in here just a little bit. Ronald writes in here, wow. Keep it simple, I like that. Man mm. bun for John 2020. Jalapeno company, I'm not sure about that. It's a nice gift. This yeah, this would be a nice gift. Yeah. I can see I can see people buying this, taking it home, and then um, trying it. Hey dad, you want some Matsuzaka beef? I've heard about that stuff. It's legendary. Well, I got <laughs> yeah. some in a can. That's, that's what would happen in my household, maybe. All right, I think it's good, can yeah. I? Just yeah. heat it up. Let's let's take it back in here. Follow the chef. Mm. Oh, that nice does smell. smell good, yeah. It's got a sweet smell to it. Let's see if this brings out the fats. Has the fats activated? Does this change the game? Does does cooking this fifty dollar can of wagyu change the taste? Thanks, guys, for suggesting this. I wouldn't have done it if it wasn't for the the chats here suggesting this. Gelled mm. is uh, the cornstarch. Thanks, guys. Soft. I don't. Is it? Yeah, it's really soft. Yeah. So we have normal wagyu from Sendai, and we have Matsuzaka beef from Matsuzaka, which is in Mie Prefecture. Oh man. Okay. Oh, you cooked it all? Yeah. Of course, we gotta eat. We gotta eat. We gotta eat. Just put that in quote on a t-shirt. Kanai's face underneath there, we gotta eat. I think that would sell. Really? Yeah, we are just, we gotta eat, you know? I'll be in the background with a, with a gut. <laughs> what do you mean we gotta eat? I ate. I ate it all. All right, so this is completely different now. You can see here we have uh, Matsuzaka beef uh, from mm. a can and now the regular Wagyu, which is getting a little bit cold, so we're gonna have to eat them both. But it does look pretty good. And can I put it in a presentation that makes it look even better? Check it out there. Um, for those that wanna take a screenshot for this later on, it does look really better. All right, let's eat this before it gets too cold. I wanna, I wanna try this. Yeah. yeah, pretty excited about this. Some people are digging my new hair. This isn't new hair. This is the hair I've always had. It's just getting longer. All right, Itadakimasu part two. Yeah. Hot wagyu. No? No. Hmm. Mm. I'm gonna try another piece with some some oil or fat on it. Hmm. It's gotten too hard. Cooking it has made it more just a katai, didn't I? Oh yeah, don't get me wrong. It's really good. Kanai looks offended. <laughs> I don't think so. Um, all right. Like when we cooked it, mm -hmm. what happened was that it got it got like more firm, like well mm -hmm. done. 
And if you like your meat well done, oh, probably so this will be good. But for me, it loses the characteristic of what Wagyu is and matzo mm. beef. And I can't taste the fat. I want the fat. I want a big mouth to fight. I can't taste it now. <laughs> it's cooked. It's all like gone. I'm, I'm trying to turn it around so you can look at the fat. The fat's like gone. It's still there. It tastes like meat. Yeah, it's meat. I know, but fifty dollars I paid for that. Uh, yeah. It's gotta be better meat than than that. Mm. Rare is best for. <laughs> I like the normal normal wagyu steak is maybe better. I don't know. I th I think so. You say you want to heat it, you better, if you want to eat hot, hot meat, yeah. you better put boil the water before you open the can. Oh! But we open the can, the can. Mm. So boil the can mm. in hot water and mm. open it and then mm. it'll be warm. And then mm. it'll... Nobody told me that. They wrote it here. They wrote it there? Yeah. Oh, but you Jesus. open it, you couldn't wait. <laughs> I couldn't wait. But it's nice, we ate both. Yeah. Hot and cold. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Thanks, Kanai. <laughs> Alright, this is... Th that's yours because I ate it off the camera sneakily. <laughs> sneakily ate it. You wanna it. eat this one? No, no, it's yours. I give it to you. It, we have two pieces. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I found some fat here on the corner. It's it's either you gelatin. Show this part. I show it. Okay. All right. I show it to the people. <laughs> Look, I found some fat. <laughs> Let's try the fat. It's fat. That is fat. <laughs> that is a green screen up there. I do green screen work for for clients and stuff. All right. Well, I I found some fats. How activated is this fat? It's better. Mm. That piece was had a lot more character to it. No. Nope. After doing countless Wagyu episodes at the farm, and I've talked with, with um, ranchers that have been doing this for generations um, in several prefectures, mm. not just in Totori and, and uh, Ibaraki, but um, all over Japan, they tell me that the, if you treat the Wagyu better, and the nicer you treat the cattle, the more delicious the meat comes. Mm -hmm. So when I was in Daisen, mm -hmm. um, in Totori, the farmer there, um, Kuro, Kuroge, uh, not just Kuroge Wagyu, it was um, uh, Daisen Kuroge, it, it had a brand to it. Mm -hmm. He put the Wagyu, this is how, how far he thought, he had Mozart playing, and he also had the Wagyu three in a pen. There were only three in each pen. And I asked him, why do you do this? And he said, mm. um, if there are two, and if there is four, it gives the Wagyu stress. But if there's only three of them together, mm. then they're really good friends and they don't they have less stress. Mm -hmm. Three's company, four is a crowd, and two couples just fight when they're isolated all the time. So you drink beer? Not not in not in Totori. <laughs> they don't they didn't drink beer in Totori. But we did massage the cattle. Um, we did massage the Wagyu, mm -hmm. and uh, I, I made friends with many of them that had tags, and I could track them to see where, with mm -hmm. how they're doing today, which is not good. Um, <laughs> they're eating. But the reason why we say itadakimasu is because we show respect for the food that we have in front of us. So we may forget it every now and then, but deep down inside of both of us, after living here for, for all her life, and for, for me, just about half of my life, when we say itadakimasu, we give great appreciation for the food that's in front of us. So that's mm -hmm. why um, when we say this, this is a way to respect the cat, the wagyu, to respect the chicken. Mm -hmm. And not to forget that sacrifice that we received when we eat meat. And when you do that, you eat a little bit less of it. Maybe a lot less of it. And that's the reason why we don't go to McDonald's and stuff so much. It's hard to say no with the you know to some good burgers but we don't eat as much meat because of that i think because we give appreciation for the way that they're raised and that's just me um 
I do love the Wagyu. So there you have it, everybody. Do you have any questions? I'll take some questions for the next five minutes or so. Um, hey, Jay Burden is here. Hi, John and Kanai from Washington you State. Don't need to show this one. From Washington oh. State, can can you say hi to my brother Dennis, who's watching from California? Hey, Dennis. Hey, Dennis. <laughs> the Wagyu looks yummy. Thank you. Uh, we do have this. Should we cook this? Cook this by boiling it. I don't know because they. They didn't write. They didn't write that. All right, we have 408 likes. That's awful. But we can try. If we can get to 550 in one minute, we'll cook this and we're, we'll do it the way that we should have done this. It's up to you. It's up to you. I'm not, I'm serious. I will totally cook this if we get to 550 likes. It's up to the community. I love to put it into your hands because you, you mean something. You mean something. When you click like, you mean something to us. This is, this is, this is broadcasted live. Um, your, your hair looks like Mozart. How would you know? Were you there when Mozart was alive? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Do I look like Mozart or Beethoven? This depends. I know like our Discord server is going to have these emoji now with uh, Beethoven looking John. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> All right, 520, that's good enough. Okay, Kanai, let's boil this. Okay. Let's get some water. While Kanai's boiling this, I'll keep you company and do some Q&A. Arigato. She said, doitashimashite. This is um, from Media. They have a shop in Ginza, and um, they're very famous for like jams and importers since the Meiji period. They brought in a lot of really good stuff. I, when I first came to Japan 20 years ago, I would often go here because they always had imported foods like like spaghetti sauce. They had the ragu. They had the pumpkin um, the uh, pumpkin uh, guts for the pumpkin pie. I don't even know what you call it, puree or something. They had that style, and even and, and including the the brands that I used when I was a kid, which is incredible. You couldn't find that anywhere else. So Media was was good for that, and they also make their own stuff. So. I'm pretty, I'm pretty excited to, to try this out. This one cost me um, at the supermarket about, I, I want to say $10, either nine, nine to, somewhere between nine to $11, but I got this a couple of months ago, again, because I wanted to do a, a Wagyu um, episode. This can here cost um, five, over 5,000 yen, which is $50. I believe it was 5,500 yen plus the delivery charge. So this cost me $50 US for that can. That's right there now. <laughs> and it's from Matsuzaka, which many experts, greater than me, that have eaten maybe more meat than me, but I know 5,000 yen, Shinshoki writes in, um, say that Matsuzaka beef is better than Kobe. And I, I can taste the difference. And I, I really think that Matsuzaka takes better care of the beef than the Kobe cattle. And I, I'm sure that people in... Uh, Tajima in Hyogo Prefecture might disagree, but Kobe beef is is darn good. Don't get me wrong, Kobe beef is amazing, but but uh, Matsuzaka beef is really good too. This is the one where they um, massage the cows with beer. <laughs> it, that's in Matsuzaka, and uh, if you have access to go into the farms and and see them, then you'll get a chance to do that. And the beer also. The beer has special properties. I, Kobe has really good marketing, Nausher Broad writes in here. Absolutely good marketing. It's Their, their marketing is so good um, that people don't know, a lot of people don't know what Wagyu even means. They think that Wagyu is different than Kobe beef. There's Kobe beef and Wagyu beef. They're the same things. Just Wagyu has has been very selective and they've they've, they've increased their selection. They used to select, um, I think it was only a thousand a year. Now it's, I think it was moved up to 3,000 because of worldwide demand for it. And they just needed to get more Wagyu beef out there. I can't blame them. So let's go see what, what, how the can is cooking in the kitchen. It's just boiling. That's action. It's just boiling. People would rather see boiling water than John. <laughs> it's nothing happened. Nothing happened. Wait, if we look at it, it'll <laughs> boil faster. Somebody wrote that. A man wiser than me, like Thomas Jefferson or something. If you watch a pot boil, does it boil faster? The answer is, it's starting to boil. But we came here, we came here late. That pan has seen some action too, by the way. 
I like it though. They put the can in a box and they don't mark it. So that means this basically what happens if you lose the box that the can is in? You don't know what it is. It's a mystery meat. It's a mystery meat. This expires 2022. It's the same, a little, about the same as the um, canned Wagyu that we had. Oh, oh, sorry. Chicago African writes in here to get Kanai a drink for the next live stream with food. Actually, <laughs> as I promised you, um, we're going to be getting a, a uh, bento, uh, kaiseki bento, right? Yes. Yeah, the kaiseki bento is about $100. So we're going to be putting that uh, Chicago African in. and everybody who's been giving super chats. We're we're reinvesting it into just ridiculous things. So not only did we get, it's not grease on the lens. It's just an old lens. Now it's grease on the lens. It's just a really old lens. I need to fix that. There you go. All right. There you go. You happy? You happy now? Um, so <laughs> I, I I was tugging on you a little bit there. Yeah, so we're going to reinvest some of these super chats into eating things that you might want to try if you came to Japan. And I think mm -hmm. that this bento is something that we really want to try. So it makes a lot of sense to just spend like 200 bucks on a bento. But they're going to deliver it and you have to order it three days in advance. So we're going to look at look for this live stream on Tuesday, about Tuesday. And uh, we'll do a, a lunchtime bento unboxing, which is um, PM for our West Coast West Coast people. Oh, it's moving. Look, I, I knew it. I knew it. Now it's interesting. How long do we boil it for? What do you say, Internet? They didn't wrote. They didn't write it. Yeah, they didn't write. It's a double negative. Didn't wrote. Uh, yeah, did, yeah. So look at so, that. See, I, I'm teaching her stuff. How do you say boiling water in Japanese? Um, oyu o wa, wakasu. Oyu o wakasu. Oyu means hot water. Hot water, then wakasu means boil. Boil. So, oyu wo wakasu. Oyu wakasu. Somewhere between two and five minutes. So, maybe in one minute. Who's going to open the can? It's going to get really hot. It's bakuhatsu kamo shiranai. Okay, that's okay. That's good. That's good. Stop. Al, Al Moral writes and stop. Big letters. It's not spam, but if you keep writing what you're yeah. writing, we're going to call that spam. Yeah, we should be careful when we open it. This is a can of sweet... Japanese beef. This is a bonus because we got to 570 likes and there's no reason why we can't get to a thousand likes Guys, you just have to click that button. It's hot. Yeah, it's fine as as long as it's fully submerged You want me to open it? That seems like the manly thing to do. I'll open it open No, I can do it. You do it? Yeah. Oh, it's really hot Careful. <laughs> I, I'm a man Hands don't scream. I screamed before in live streams. Ah! <laughs> ah! Hot! 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 Mmm! Ah. Oh. Oh. oh! Only manly men are comfortable enough with their masculinity to scream into the camera with a thousand people watching. What do you think? This is supposed to be a sweet beef. Let's get this to the table quickly. Ah! Hot, 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 I'm gonna drop it, can I? Oh no. All right, this is the Matsuzaka beef that we've had. If you're joining us now, that, that has been consumed. This is Wagyu, um, a Sendai steak that we cook, Sendai Gyu, with a little garlic. And now we're gonna be trying this as a bonus. The playback is gonna be good. This this is this one here. It does look very much like the like the, the picture, how only in Japan does what you see on the on the advertising look like the advertised product? And Japanese Big Macs look pretty good, like uh, like the Big Macs. But I wouldn't. I don't eat Big Macs. I, not not that I would not not that I admit. All right, let's try this here. This is a bonus for everybody for for clicking in the like button. The community rules. It's all about the community. Okay. It's exciting. Salivating again. It's different without the wide angle lens. All right, let's wow. try this here. But I can't see marble like Matsuzaka Q. Oh, it's cooled down a lot. I don't see the, yeah, you're right. Mm. I don't see the marbling, but I see 
it's it's pretty thin. It's thinner cut, I think. Mm, yeah, it's thin. Oh, wow. Okay, so this is more just beef, but it's Japanese beef, and the can did cost $10. So we're going to give it a try here. Is this $10? It cost $10. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. Looks very lean. It, I think it's going to be chewy. Itadakimasu again. <laughs> Wait, people have been asking me about Japanese customs. If you say itadakimasu, do you have to say it again if you sit no. down? So I just, how many times do you have to only, say it? Only you can, you can use this word before you eat, like lunch, before lunch, before dinner. Okay, you don't have to say it again. All right. Mmm. How does this compare with the Matsuzaka beef? I'm going to try a piece of this. It's so much different. It is, but you're right. It's better mm. when it's been boiled and warmed up like that. It is totally different. Mm. The, the, the taste is, is different when it's hot. I think it does need to be to warmed mm -hmm. up, boiled like that. It's really good, but you can't beat good old Wagyu. <laughs> you can't beat a piece of normal Wagyu steak, even if it's cold, dozo. Oh, <laughs> this was Kanai's piece. <laughs> mm. 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 Wow. So, what did we learn? <laughs> okay, ranking on a scale of 1 to 10. Let's go here. This, this Wagyu steak that we mm -hmm. ate. How many stars out of 10? Um, it's important. Um, Star system. Nine. Nine out of 10. Whoa, Sendai Gyu, nine out of 10. Mm. For me, this gets um, eight out of 10. I thought it was had really good character to the meat. Wagyu, I don't think can ever go underneath eight anyways, underneath seven. So this was a, like a solid eight out of ten mm. from Wagyu that I've eaten, but I've eaten a lot of Wagyu. All right, next up, um, the Matsuzaka $50 can mm. of beef. How many stars out of ten can I? Five. Eh, five out of ten? Yeah. Wow. How many stars out of five? Um... 2.5. Okay, she's getting wise now. Sometimes the, the totals would be different if you <laughs> lowered the stars. <laughs> I'd give this a... All right, I think it's not fair to compare it to yeah, the other yeah. Wagyu. It's the Zuri dish. Yeah, I agree, because uh, this one, mm. Wagyu, we, it's staked. We baked. Yeah. But this one is a uh, Nimono, so Yamato ni. So it tastes different. So... Matsuzaka gyu, this Matsuzaka gyu, sweet, more sweet, sweet, sweet. Yeah. And it's nimono, it's steak. Okay, I it's think difficult it's to that. compare this. You can't compare. Yeah. All right. As beef, so we have a two star system then. As beef, mm. this is, um, yeah, it's like a, a, a six out of 10 to, for me. Mm. Um, as in a canned good. It's about a seven and seven and a half out of ten. You know why? Because tuna fish is so darn good. There's so many really good foods in a can. It's hard to beat them. This is you know what for canned food. I was okay. An eight, eight out of ten for mm -hmm. canned foods. And yes. this one also gets I think an eight out of ten. This one is is this one here. As a can? Yeah. How would you compare them? As a canned food, this one is a uh, better. Yeah, maybe eight. Eight? Point five for me. This one is a um, four. What? <laughs> this is eight and this is four mm. in terms of canned. Why? Why the big? Because this this one is um, hard. Well, this was hard too. No, it's different. Really? It's much different. Jennifer Pang writes in here. I agree with Kanai. Why are you taking her <laughs> side? It's different. You you saw marble, marbling, right? I saw the marbling. But when I eat the Matsuzaka Gyu can, it's very soft. It's 
It's mm. not melt, but it's soft in my mouth. Yeah. But this one, normal can, it's just inside my mouth. It's just inside your mouth. <laughs> yes. Why it's did not I? Soft when you melt. know what? I'm not paying ten bucks for this anymore, and I'm not paying fifty <laughs> bucks for this anymore. Okay, basically, uh, basically, I'm an idiot for paying fifty dollars for this. However, if you cannot take raw beef to your hometown then I think that, or back to your country, then this is a pretty good option as a gift. I think this would make an amazing gift. Yes. And if you do find this in a zombie apocalypse and you're raiding a supermarket and this is on the shelf, you might want to go for this because as, in terms of canned food, this is pretty darn good. And put, don't hide this, put, hide this deep in your pack so then if other people try to raid you because sometimes in a zombie apocalypse, you might have the food and then someone will take it from you. Put it deep or bury it underneath a tree with a map so you can find it later. I'm telling you now, just because we don't know. Um, yeah, we don't eat uh, cow food a lot mm. at home, but in Japan, we have many kinds of cow food, right? Oh, yeah, like what? Yes, like this and, and takoyaki, right? You, you ate takoyaki oh, takoyaki in a can. Mm. That was nasty. Yeah, oh, really? Uh. It doesn't beat the real thing, but if you're in a zombie apocalypse, I I'd want that. I found many. Come bled. Mm. Come bled vending machine at platform. You can get that on Amazon for um seven, eight dollars a can. And oden, oden. Mm. Come food oden. Mm. It's it's only in Japan, right? It's true. You can have spaghetti in a can in America. Mm. Did you know that? We have spaghetti. Spag yeah. It's made wow. by Chef Boyardee. Only in America. You ever heard of Chef Boyardee? No. Wow, she's never heard of Chef Boyardee. All the things that she doesn't know yet. We gotta, we gotta teach her about Chef Boyardee. They have ravioli too. Do you know what ravioli is? Ravioli, yeah. They have that in a can. Really? Yeah, with sauce. It's good. Wow. It's cheap too. It's like, like a dollar a can. Only in America. Only <laughs> in America. Well said. Well said. And this is only in Japan. And uh, thanks so much for watching. Uh, we hope that you enjoyed this comparison. This is actually sold on Amazon, and they had a few left. I don't know how. I'm, I'm pretty sure this isn't a limited edition, but this KK company is one that makes a ton of different uh, consomme or canned items. You could actually even have this sent to your hotel if you're visiting in Japan. Mm -hmm. um, not even go to the supermarket. You can get a set of all the canned foods that they make off of Amazon. I've seen it. I'm not really plugging them. They didn't sponsor this. <laughs> I'm just saying that like it's just cool to me. It's mm. just cool to me. Yeah. And Media is available in Ginza, and you can find that. Media, 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 media. Sounds like media, but it's media, media. Supermarket. Yeah, supermarket import supermarket that goes back to the Meiji period. In early late 19th century. Mm -hmm. Bye, guys. Have a good day. Bye. We're going to eat the rest of this without you. Click that subscribe button so you get the notifications. Just look at that meat for the last 20 seconds. It's not as good as it was <laughs> 30 minutes ago. Bye, guys. <laughs>